friends know me as Polo Cash. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And that's prolific, overcoming life's obstacles, conquering all sins humbly. My life journey was all about my life. You know, I ended up getting into like a few toxic things, and I mean like really, really bad toxic things, mm -hmm. man. And it was bringing down my spirituality. Mm -hmm. It was starting to basically make it hard for me to be able to see the grass greener. So, you know, uh, I talked to God and I prayed on it. Like, I literally stayed on um, meditating and praying to him for a week in my apartment. And he was like, son, I gave you a new beginning. So I went into the barber shop and I talked to the man that's been doing my hair for a long time. I mean, he used to do my God, mohawk, yeah. you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he yeah. was always in my hair. I literally had to talk this man into cutting my hair for 30 minutes because everybody was like, man, your hair is beautiful. Why are you cutting it? Yeah. I even asked had a dietitian that would do like a celebrity's hair she came into my Walgreens and she seen my hair and she was like I would give you I would give you any style only for $80 and I usually charge people $300 if you don't cut it I appreciate that because I knew her too mm -hmm. and I knew how she got down she was cold you know? I said I appreciate all, all that but that's not even what it's about it's personal this is about me mm -hmm. and after that man like my See, whole yeah. head has been different just how I've been seeing life has been different you know yeah. when I sit down when I interact with people when they leave they're happier than than what they were before, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Just because of a yeah. conversation or a smile. Welcome back to Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activerse, your host with the most banger videos on YouTube. I wanna just say thank you guys for subscribing to this channel. Thank you guys for getting the Pineapple Fam Facebook group to 100 members. And also, of course, if you wanna join, it's free to join, which is where everybody shares their journey to inspire others, to educate others, and then build a community. And finally, the Instagram page has been going up numbers too, and uh, we've been able to feature a lot of you guys there on our story. So if you guys have not been featured yet, just DM me on there on Pineapple World, and then we're gonna, we gonna get you featured. I'm soon going to be working on Pineapple World website where we're going to have dreadlock jewelries and also a lot of new things that I want to bring in to that website. So for those of you guys that have been waiting for the dreadlock jewelry, I'm excited to announce that they will be on that website, not on Activerse.com. Activerse.com is going to be a separate thing. But without further ado, let's get into it. Hey guys, how y'all doing today, man? Today I'm gonna just go over Polo Cash's hair, basically. Um, he has a 4B, I believe, type of hair. It's a little curlier than mine, or you can say kinkier than mine. So I had to figure out basically how his dreadlock was locked originally to even begin with the retwist part. I can tell that a lot of the methods were with twist method. Even after, you know, he started his dreadlock, he might have started it, you know, two strands twist or whichever way at that time i don't think i was interviewing people for pineapple world full interview style yet i had asked him why he started his dreadlocks and that's what you guys saw in the beginning it was mainly because of spiritual purposes so once i figured out how his hair was twisted i wanted to you know maintain that type of twisting method so that it doesn't work against what he has already created with his dreadlocks his dreadlocks are not a very skinny dreadlocks it may look like that but it's not not. they're actually way well maintained well moisturized pretty good dreadlocks and so for a hair type like his that is great because it's going to continue to maintain that thickness as long as he continues to do the same thing that he did from the beginning and that's what it looks like he's doing he might have used to bleached uh his tips before maybe and cut just the tips off because that's what it looks like a few like a lot of people that bleach their hair usually bleach not just the top tip of the dreadlocks but a little bit more than that so unless he did that it seems like to me by the way it looks some of them are bleached some of them are not that he used to have a bleached tips and he ended up cutting them off so if you guys ever decide to do that actually it's a pretty good idea because your tips anyways uh, get the most damaging part out of your whole dreadlocks even if you were to bleach it so after you bleach it you can think about much more damage that comes to it and so with the retwist process basically what I learned is that the section it has to be kept the same and uh, sometimes I use my comb to kind of like bring back some of the hairs that are going to a, a different directions uh, but at the same time for my dreadlocks I don't mostly I mostly let it stay where it's at too but sometimes uh, there is sometimes that I let it 
you know, connect with other dreadlocks to make a Congo, just so I have a uniqueness to my dreadlocks and, uh, you know, we uniqueness to my uh, locks itself. So for him, he didn't want it to connect to others. He wants a retwist. So uh, with that, you have to keep the sections. Uh, what I've seen a lot of locticians do is that they use a lot of comb method to make sure that the roots is very well neat and clean, but like you fully can see the scalp. So they use a lot of comb method, like the rat tail comb to really snatch out every hair in every angle. And I don't get that because I mean, it's good that it looks neat, but is your goal to look nice or to have your dreadlocks be healthy? And that comes down to having a good loctician, I would say, because if they just try rushing through it to trying to make, you know, an a DM or Instagram post or anything like that, so it can look clean, they will end up, you know, snatching out some of your hair, cutting it halfway or even to the bottom just to get it to the right section. Uh, using rat tail method and uh, for me I think this is one of my first or second or third retwist on somebody's hair and so I kind of struggled you know having to do that because I'm like what am I trying to do you know and so I just did it what I would do to my hair you know took care of it just like that and uh, as you guys can see I don't have enough uh, or even the little small hair clips and so I, sh <laughs> I was using like big clips to you know to use six seven eight ten dreadlocks with one clip to make it work and i mean it worked you know you got the retwist but it took i, I feel like it took a little while because i had to adjust <laughs> in every side and every time and uh because i didn't have enough clips ran out of clips and uh for the gel part i used a uh, great lock gel their maximum hold vegan product uh, that i found even for my hair to be amazing it doesn't give you any um buildups or anything like that just because it's very uh liquidy but yet a firm hold gel uh it's almost like it's made just for my hair type but i know that everybody that has used it works for them but i struggled before that finding the right gel final part came out pretty good i still want to develop and grow from it so if you guys are in uh, arizona or something like that hit me up for your hair i know that i have some people on list already that i want to connect with uh, so once I do that I get to you guys it just takes time and uh, you know I got to make time out of my whole week my whole month just to meet somebody like this to do it here if you guys want to connect with our platforms we have a pineapple fam Facebook page that we created just for you to share your journey and then we have a Instagram also that we feature people every time anybody follows us and like dms us pictures we try to post them on the story uh we've been slacker recently but we want to get back to that because we appreciate everybody that connects with us uh, till next time this is pineapple world where your journey matters i'm activers and i'm out stay tuned y'all